Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and today I will be showing you how I use Procreate. Now it is no Photoshop by any means, but I find it to be a really good alternative for my iPad. Uh, this is the opening page for Procreate and in the upper right corner the plus sign is to um, start a new project a new canvas I usually go for the square one now this um, is what I will be attempting to recreate to some degree this is the layers I've pulled up and as I scroll down you will see that I have created quite a few layers or I had made quite a few uh, logo design ideas and one thing I really like about this program is that there seems to be no limit to the amount of layers you can create. Now, I will start by inserting text. And I did the Steam and NM separately, so I'll be starting with Steam in all caps. And I changed the color to a lighter red for the steam. And I go to edit style after I type it to adjust the size. As you can see, and the kerning is the space in between the letters. So I adjusted that as well to be closer together, touching but not too close. To where you can't read the word um, there are a lot of font uh, styles available but you can always import more and I think that's pretty cool in fact the style that I'm using um, in this example was imported I, I found some free fonts online and I was able to import them But there are already, yeah, a lot of uh, fonts available. Let's see. Now, after I've typed the word, I will be adjusting the distortions. You also have a lot of options for that as well. There's free form. You can where you can stretch it and it's a bit limited to what you can do for free form but it's still more that then you can do for uniform which is what it sounds like um, free form I use that a lot to stretch the words or image or whatever I'm trying to distort Uniform. It's just to resize the whole word as it is, as you can see, or flip it. No real distortion. Distort um, is more options than freeform. As you can see, pulling on the corners pulls the side out or in. And I did it on the M side for the example, but this is just me showing you how you can distort the word in, um, transform the word in distort. Now warp, it allows you to do so much more as you can see it just completely it changes the word to an image and you can bend it however you want and there's just so many ways you can play around with it I haven't used warp for any projects yet but there's just so many things you can do like this that is crazy 
but it's still pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I haven't used this feature yet. And I double tap on my screen. Or I just tap once, I mean, on my screen with two fingers. And it um, undoes. It's a pretty cool shortcut. Now here I am. Pulling on the corners on the side of the M to pull it out. And adjusting the size and placement. And as I get it in the way I want it, when I'm satisfied with how it looks, I will go ahead and add the NM and repeat the process. And this one I will do in a darker red to separate the value so it's not too close together. A light red and a slightly darker red. I want it to be more of a drastic difference. There you go. And again, just the size. I didn't do the kerning. I did with the original um, local design, but with this one, I decided to just adjust the size and distort it in the corners like I did the steam to make it match. Now here, I don't know what happens, but for some reason, if you press something, sometimes it uh, shows all the layers. But I find if you just hold down the check mark on the right, uh, it deselects all the layers again. It's really simple. Instead of just going down each layer and deselecting it to hide it. Okay, now I'm going to import an image, but I'm using a different image as this is just an example. I'm going to use the bird. Now, I always like to uh, download and save PNG images for this very reason. As you can see, the background is very evident. Um, and usually when there's a background, if it's a simple image as the bird is, it's it's easy enough to delete it, but um, it's just easier to save a PNG file uh, image. Anyways, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. And here are a few logo designs that I made with Procreate. Hopefully this sparked your interest enough to give it a try. Either way, thanks for watching.